I'd love to talk to you about, you know, the, the current obs obsession of telling sports stars to, you know, stick to football or stick to their sport or stay in their lane. Because just this week, we've, you know, in the middle of a World Cup, which is hugely political, do you think that sporting stars, and you've interviewed the biggest that there have ever been, do you think they should stay in their lane? Or, or should they use their no, platform? You, you, you can always see sport as being part of life, of being part of, of politics, of being part of of what we all are as human beings. It's not a sort of separate blade in which to go and sunbathe all your life or anything like that. I mean, it has its problems. It reflects the problems that we have as a as as human beings. And and anybody who cares to divorce themselves from the reality of what's happening now in the World Cup uh, is, is foolish. They're missing the point. You know, if it's to be uh, uh, something that's, that changes you for the better, for if it's to be something that represents all that's good in, in human beings at its best, then it's worth considering in the context of, of, of life, generally speaking. And you can't look at what's happening out there today in the so-called World Cup without feeling uneasy about certain aspects of being human beings in this part of the 20th century or 21st century. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 it's a bother. So, Michael, can I ask you, is there anybody around at the moment who you would love to interview? And if you do have somebody, what would you ask them? The, the interview that any self-respecting journalist would want to do now is with uh, President Putin. He's a man who controls us. As we're in the palm of his hand. Our fate is there. What's he going to do? What's he about? I mean, you can't be so far removed from reality that you don't wake up every morning and think, what the hell's going to happen today? I mean, we're in a terrible political situation. The world is. And Putin is a man who's caused this concern. And so you would like to know, you'd like to find out, what is he about? What are his plans? What does he really want to achieve? Does he want a worldwide conflict? Does he want a nuclear war? I mean, these are questions that <laughs> affect us all and most certainly will affect us all unless we find a solution to a problem of his, of his Putin's creating. Hmm. I know you get asked this question a lot about your favourite interviewee, so I'm not going to ask you that, but whenever I have watched you interview people over the years, and I remember watching you with my mum and dad and our whole family sat round, I used to love it when you laughed along with the person you were talking to. And I remember your great chats with Billy Connolly when... Can I ask you, is it almost your favourite moments when you feel like part of the audience rather than the interviewer? The favourite moment comes with any interview, if you're doing a long interview, when there's that moment where you know that they are working for you and with you and understand. That's the... the, the because it's a totally false proposition you put to somebody you ask to come on TV and be interviewed. You know, you walk down the steps, all that band playing and all that nonsense happening. And they say to you as they push you off the top of step and hope you find your way down. So, uh, you know, relax, relax. Are you joking? I mean, I just <laughs> sit there and, and think, oh, I hope to God when he gets down the bottom, he turns right and not left. Uh, I, I just felt sorry for them. And, but there's that moment when you actually during an interview, you come to a point where you, you know you can see it in their face, you can see it in their relaxed posture, that they now they've enjoined you, they've joined you in a, a conversation, you, you've got it, you've caught the fish. But that's the moment you look for, and that's the moment that doesn't happen in television as much as it ought to, simply because the awesome thing about being on television mm all the surrounding nonsense, you know. It's always lovely to talk to you. And, uh, Sir Michael, as a, as a master of your craft, can I ask you, have you enjoyed this interview? Have we done a good job? Uh, well, yeah, I've, I've, I've always been a, a fan of yours, actually. I, I, I do watch television, uh, and, I, and, and I look at young people coming through, and I, 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 I think, well, what's, what's good and what's bad? And then you have a very... <laughs> style uh, and we've, we've talked before and if I didn't uh, like you I wouldn't be on your program <laughs> so there you go. Uh, so Michael I'm, Parkinson I'm, it's a pleasure to talk to you thank you so much